Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Alright, so I've met you guys here uh, at the Carded Forest next to the Flutter. And that's because there's something we need to be doing in here. First thing, whenever we go into the Flutter, we're actually going to drop off the cat that we picked up. Rawr! <laughs> there we go, it's just going to hang out out here with Barrel, so that's good that we get to keep him company. And what we actually need to be doing is checking the TV set. Remember, we've checked it before, but uh, now that I guess we've reached a certain point, something different should happen. This just in. We've received word that armed robbers have stormed the bank and made off with a large sum of money. I don't envy the mayor her job. What with stuff like this happening all the time? Yep, so that kind of also starts off a new thing for us. Um... Yeah, see, as you can see, we've pretty much got stuck uh, in the side quest now that we've checked the TV, so I kind of wanted to save beforehand, but um, eh, that's okay, I guess. Okay, so we've got to go there. Uh, as you can see, the support car is gone. It's not even here anymore, so go figure. We've got to actually go there ourselves. Thankfully, with the jet skates, it's not that bad. Uh, so let's go on down the path here. And basically, the main reason I wanted to save... Eh, Eh, well, we'll see that when I get to it, so. This one's actually not hard to do. I don't think it's on a time limit or anything, so. Uh, this one's actually pretty easy to do, but. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get up to this section of downtown here. Alright, and as you can see, this car is speeding along. This is the car that the robbers are using. So basically, we've got to try to uh, just keep shooting this thing until it uh, actually explodes and uh, gets deactivated. So uh, this takes quite a few shots, actually. This is uh, not really quick by any means because this thing is so fast, uh, even running diagonally. Oh, holy crap, it went back down there. That's weird. Uh, yeah, even like doing the running diagonally thing, you can't keep up with it. So this car can be really a pain to catch. Uh, if you could shoot while skating, that would be perfect, but uh, unfortunately you can't. So you kind of just have to cut it off in an intersection and hope you can shoot it. And try not to keep running behind it for too long because that police car will run you over. There we go, I got a few shots in there. Alright, probably turning right. Yep, I guessed it. Ooh, I, I was about to get run over by the police car there, I know it. Alright, so let's just keep shooting it. And like I said, it kind of takes a while. I think I silly shot that one in there. Oops. Alright, cut him off here. There it goes, alright. Ooh, man. As you can see, the car explodes and these guys uh, run away. We don't have to shoot them, but I like stopping them so the police can deal with them. And as you can see here, they've dropped behind uh, a trunk full of cash. And now we are kind of at an impasse, actually. Uh, because if we want, we can return the money to inspector to the inspector, even though he clearly saw us pick it up. Uh, we can actually also run out of gate with the money. And basically, running out of the gate will do a couple things. One, it'll give you on uh, like 200,000 zenny. It's insane. Uh, but it'll also turn your armor completely dark, like to a really dark blue, which signifies you're like evil Mega Man, and people around town won't like you and stuff. Uh, I'm going to take the good guy route and bring it back. I will find a way to show you what happens. This is why I wanted to save, so I could kind of do both, you know? Uh, but it's just not going to work out that way. So let's go ahead and take it back to the inspector. Thanks for all your help, Mega Man. I'd like to give you something to show our appreciation. And now we're taken back to the station. So yeah, if you want a lot of money and don't care if people don't like you, then uh, you can just take the money if you want. There you go, it's not much, but I hope you can use it to get something you need for a dig. And we get 20,000 zenny. If it hadn't been for your help, we probably wouldn't have been able to solve that case. Thanks for everything. You'll be the first person I call if something else happens. Oh yeah, great, wonderful. Yep, so we get 20,000 for that, and uh, it turns out that actually most of that is going to go towards another side quest, so that kind of sucks, but <laughs> what can you do, I suppose? 
Um, alright, so let's see, the next thing, we should probably actually go back to uh, Jem's place and see if they fixed it up by now. We've spent quite a lot of time doing some side quests, uh, so they should have. So let's make our way back up there and check it out. If they have it, I'm going to be really disappointed because it's actually been quite a while. Okay, up here. And yeah, it looks like they have. You can tell the place looks a little bit different now. It's slightly a uh, di uh, different color. So I can check it out. And wow, they did all of this with a pick. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so let's talk to him again. What do you think? It's getting there, isn't it? Oh, that reminds me. There's something else we need you to get. Think you can find a saw for us? Good luck, Requisitions Officer Mega Man. So now we got to get a saw, and we're pretty much going to follow the same methodology we did before. We're going to go into the City Hall area and talk to that same construction worker. But, of course, we're going to have to do a little bit more to get this one, so we'll find out about that once we get there. But for now, let's just make our way back to the south gate. And over to the right here where the construction worker is. Thankfully, he hasn't moved. Huh? A saw? Sorry, I just threw mine away. I think it was when I was working on a job downtown. Yep, so we're gonna have to search more garbage cans for saws. I, they're kinda overusing that at this point, I guess, but, uh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter that much. It's also kind of annoying to have to look around at all the garbage cans, since there's quite a few spread out everywhere, and I have no idea which one it is. Couldn't be this one, could it? Uh, of course not. They wouldn't make it the closest one, right? What about this one? Oh, wow, is this it? What do you know? We found a saw. All right. So yeah, now all that's left is... Whoa. Oh, man. I was trying to slow down to avoid it, but... Yeah, so now all that's left is to take it back to Jim. All right, so let's give him the saw. Hey, you got a saw. Good work. Okay, leave the rest to us. We'll get this place fixed up so he won't even recognize it. Yep. So now just some more waiting until we can eventually go back, and that's actually the last thing that we need to be getting for that uh, sort of part of the side quest. We're going to be bringing him some more stuff, but it's stuff he actually didn't ask for. So I, I, I kind of consider it a different side quest, but... Okay, so, uh, next thing. Um, there's something I can think of we need to be doing in Uptown. So let's go back in here. We can't call Roll from the Plains, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but I'm going to have her take me to Uptown here. Okay, so our destination this time is actually the hospital. We haven't been in there yet, but uh, we're going to get to check it out, so that's pretty cool. The door is over here, and let's see what there is to do. So when we go in, we're kind of taken to a, a little waiting area here, and uh, there's not really anybody of interest. Everyone's kind of generic, except for this chick over here, so let's talk to her. Are you from another island? I wish I could go places too. But just you wait and see. Once my leg gets better, I'm gonna go all over! The nurse tells me that if I keep working hard with the rehabilitation, my leg will get better in no time. Why don't you come over to my room sometime and tell me stories about where you've been? It's so boring to stay in my room by myself all day. Alright, so that's introduced us to uh, a new chick here. We can talk to the nurse. Have you come to visit Ira? She's in room 305. Please use the door to your right. Alright, so let's do that. So yeah, now we've got this chick here that we're uh, supposed to feel bad for. Looks like she's had some sort of leg injury and can't walk. Uh, so let's talk to her nurse here. One of my patients is this darling little girl, but she's very ill and has lost the ability to walk. If we, had just, if we just had some more modern equipment here, we could probably cure her, but I just wish there was something I could do for her. Yep, so uh, we kind of have now got this side quest going where we need to uh, find a way to cure her. And in order to do that, as the nurse hinted, uh, we're going to need to upgrade upgrade the hospital's equipment. So while it may not be very obvious where to go, it actually kind of is if you think about it. I mean, who's got power over that kind of thing? Besides like the hospital director or something. But let's go see the mayor and see if she can do anything, right? Um, so, yeah, it's actually probably a good idea to use the, uh, whoa, the support car to take us up there, because it'll literally drop us off right by City Hall, but, I don't know, I'm just too lazy to go into the menu and feel like skating around a little bit, so, we're pretty much already there anyway. By the time I finish talking about it, we'll be there, so, it doesn't really matter. And, here we are. 
All right, so let's go in and check out the mayor's place. We haven't actually checked out this little lobby too much. We've been through it, but I've never really showed uh, too much about it. So uh, let's talk to some people. Whatever happens, happens. There's not much we can do about it. We just have to live one day at a time. Yeah, something like that. What about you? All right, something happened over by the main gate. Your only hope, Mega Man. We're all counting on you. Of course. All right, yeah, they pretty much just all say generic things that aren't worth worrying about too much. So we can go up to the mayor's place and we can talk to her. Now we have a bunch of options to pick from. Uh, of course, the donations for repairing the city are still there. Uh, but the hospital's equipment is what we want to ask about. I've been wanting to upgrade the hospital's equipment with the latest models myself for some time now. But to do that, we need 15,000 zenny. Yep, so that's pretty much what I said all the money from the bank robbery is going to. Why, thank you, Mega Man. Thank you very much. Yep. So now we've uh, come off with a measly 5,000 zenny profit from that, which is why it's actually very tempting to just take that case of money. Because that's, that's a lot of money, it really is. But I guess uh, that's just how things go, you know, I always have this. I, I always like to take the good path in video games, because I just feel bad for taking the evil path, you know. Alright, so let's make our way back to Uptown, and uh, the, it's kind of funny actually, because even though we just donated the money for the equipment, it's literally already there and functioning. So, oh wow, holy crap. <laughs> what is that, twice in this video now? Okay, so let's head back to the hospital again. And... check it out. Oh, out of the way, woman. Alright, so let's go back up to Ira's room once again. Talk to the chick here. You have to talk to this chick before just going through the door, or else this chick here will stop you and say, Oh, you can't go up without checking in first. Hey, Mega Man! Look! Look, I can walk again! The nurse told me that you bought them a machine that fixed my leg. Thank you. This is for you. I found it when I was out for a walk. Come back and see me again. Man, she says again. So weird. She says again. But, yep, there we go. Through the uh, miracles of modern medicine, she has been instantly healed now that we've upgraded the equipment. So, man, that, <laughs> that must be some really good equipment we upgraded to. Alright, so we've still got some more side quests to be doing, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the part here, and we will uh, finish off probably most of the side quests in the next video, and then uh, after that we'll have to dig for some more uh, parts to fill out our special weapons repertoire. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll be doing in the next part. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.